Hi guys, I wanted to give a little intro to this video before we get into it. So in this video, you're going to see a trip of my mom and I. We go to Toronto to find her mother of the bride dress, which was really fun. And I'm so glad I documented it because it was a really special trip. So you'll see that in this vlog. And then I decided to join my bridal shower vlog with this one because I didn't film enough to do like a whole separate video for the bridal shower. I do a bunch of things where I'm prepping for the shower and getting gifts together and then getting my hair and makeup done. So you'll see all of that and then also the shower itself you'll see a little bit of. But I decided to join the two videos together just so that the video felt a little bit longer and there was more content for you guys to watch. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm so glad I documented both of these because it's something I look back on and cherish forever and ever. I know I've taken a little bit of time off from YouTube. I'm gonna get into that towards the end of this video. But without further ado, I will stop rambling on and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Cassie if you're new. If you're not, welcome back to another vlog. I'm currently getting ready because I'm going on a little weekend getaway with my mom. We're doing a daughter mom trip to Toronto tonight, which is Friday. And I'm currently doing my makeup, so I figured I'd do a little get ready with me and kind of explain what's going on in this vlog. So we are going overnight, just one night, to Toronto, which if you're not familiar, is pretty close to Buffalo, to be honest. It's like two and a half hours, but the Canadian border is only about 45 minutes, like 35 minutes maybe from Buffalo. So we're gonna have a little girls trip and we're going to look for dresses for my mom for the wedding. She has a few options here in Buffalo, but she's been wanting to go to Toronto to check out a few places. So we decided that we would do that this weekend and we're really excited. So I took a half day today from work and I just finished up a little bit ago. It's about noon and I have to go to my mom's house, my parents real quick, because I'm gonna meet her there and Dash is actually gonna stay there for the night to stay with my dad. Dash is my fiance and I's dog. And my fiance, Matthew, is on a bachelor party for his friend Matt this weekend, so he's not home. So kind of a crazy, busy weekend, but I figured it'd be fun to vlog so you guys could see a little overnight trip. I'll probably just carry it into the weekend in general. I'm coming back tomorrow. I figured it'd be fun. By the way, I used this Merit complexion stick. It's like the minimalist one. I absolutely love it. And then I mix it with the Bare Minerals foundation. So that's what I just put on my face. I kind of want to just do like light makeup right now because we're going to dinner tonight and I figure I'll probably fix up my makeup before we go. So I'm not going to do anything else besides that. I'm just going to do a little bit of mascara and then blush. Maybe some brow gel. We'll do that. But I'm excited for it, this video. I went to Whole Foods early this morning to grab some snacks to bring in the car rides my mom and I had. So I'll share with you guys what I ended up getting. And we're staying overnight. We're going to this restaurant tonight called Coast and it looks really cool. It's like on the top floor of some really high up building and it overlooks the whole city of Toronto. So I'm excited for that. We've got two appointments that we're going to, two like bridal appointments and well i guess not bridal but bridal places that have mother of the bride dresses so we're gonna be going to those and then we have dinner plans we might go to planta tomorrow which is like a vegan restaurant there i've been wanting to try it's got a lot of fun things planned so welcome back hope you guys enjoy this video i to finish getting ready and then we will head to my parents here are the snacks that i'm gonna bring so I got a little apple, I've got some cucumbers, some Quinn pretzels, Lesser Evil Power Curls, popcorn. This is the Three Wishes Cinnamon Yogurt, or cereal, not yogurt. And then I've got two Verb Bars, one for the morning and then maybe one for the way there. These are like caffeinated energy bars. I'm going to a spin class tomorrow morning and so I thought that would be good for a little energy and food. We 
just got to our room at the hotel. Give you guys a little hotel tour. We're staying at the Broadview Hotel in Toronto. It's really cute. All right, when you walk in, it's got like a boutique hotel vibe to it. The lighting is not great. I should turn on the lights. Actually, let me do that. The lights are not that great in here, but it's very cute. And then it has like a little patio, but it looks out into the brick, which is <laughs> kind of weird. But you can walk out here if you want, which is nice. So yeah, it's very cute. It's small, but they have a rooftop. So we'll see how that is. The bathroom is so nice. Yeah, it's really cute. Love it. Super nice in the shower. Whoa. Super nice. spin class maybe grab a smoothie and then we're gonna go back to the first dress place we saw yesterday and possibly buy my mom's dress <laughs>
I just made a little post-workout smoothie. I used this Truvani protein powder. It's the plant-based vanilla and chai, and oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I'm gonna do a little taste test on camera. I really like this brand. All the ingredients are super clean. There's no dairy, gums, sweeteners, stevia, no soy, no emulsifiers, no gluten, non-GMO, no weird ingredients. And their stuff is so good. It's plant protein. I highly recommend. I've been trying the peanut butter and the vanilla, but I've never tried the vanilla chai. And I'm so excited. All right, little on-camera taste test. Mm. Oh my God. So good. Wow, that's incredible. I forgot to put ice in there. So I might reblend it, but whoa. This is incredible. Oh my God. Whoa. You guys, it literally tastes like a milkshake. I'm gonna just pick the vlog back up here. So I ended up, I stopped vlogging a few days ago. We got home on Saturday and then I just had a really busy weekend after I went to dinner with my friend on Saturday night. And then yesterday I had to go to my niece and nephew's baptism and first communion. So it's just been absolutely crazy, but I just got back from Wegmans. It's eight in the morning right now. And it's Monday, so I'm gonna be working today, but I think I just vlogged today so you guys can see a few more days. Um, I got back from Wegmans, like I said, and I got these beautiful flowers. So I'm gonna put them in a vase. And my mom end up, did end up getting her dress, which was so exciting. It looks absolutely stunning on her. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. It doesn't come in until early or mid-June. The wedding's not until mid-July. So crossing your fingers, there's no delays or anything. We did have to rush ship it. But we ended up going to Diva Bridal in Toronto and she just looks absolutely gorgeous. So successful trip. I also got my second bridal shower dress, which was very exciting, but I need to unload these groceries because they're staring at me. And I figured let's put these in a vase right now because they've been sitting outside. Outside. Big grocery haul. Show you guys what we got for the week. So we've got some mushroom, cilantro, two different bags of salad for Matthew, broccolini, broccoli, and Parmesan cheese, strawberries, frozen bananas, siete taco seasoning because I'm gonna do tacos this week. Then I got cauliflower, chicken nuggets, I love those. Some Food for Life Ezekiel toast. I got some oats because I wanna do protein balls this week. Um, that's just like shaving gel two cartons of eggs because I eat a lot of eggs and so does Matthew Three wishes cinnamon cereal. That's our favorite and then I got Matthew some protein shakes some egg whites I've been wanting to try this new sauce my friend Charisse has been recommending it and it's the Siete traditional poblano sauce So I thought that'd be good on the tacos this week a lime I got some blueberries some sweet peppers baby potatoes some ground chicken for the tacos some steak then I got cod, salmon, a little bit of more steak, because those were kind of tiny. And then lemon garlic chicken, some plant-powered dishwasher detergent pods, lesser evil popcorn, of course. This is one of their new products. It's the Space Balls for cinnamon sugar. Matthew like really loves them. So I got him those. And then two other random things. This Hex laundry detergent. It's like a cleaner one, but it's for activewear. And we've been using that, and I really like it. And then just two different pet foods for Dash. because it is my bridal shower weekend and I am just so 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 excited my bridal shower isn't until tomorrow which is Saturday today's Friday but I wanted to start off the vlog because I've got some prep today that I'll be doing and then of course I wanted to vlog my actual bridal shower so I'm so 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 excited if you guys are new to my channel my fiance Matthew and I are getting married in July or about two months out and my shower is the day before Mother's Day and I just can't wait there's been so much prep involved my mom and my mother-in-law and my sister 
and all my aunts and my other sister like everybody's just been so amazing helping out and i know there's just been so much effort and energy that's gone into making this shower amazing and i just can't wait to see i've been like really far removed from it so a lot of it is a surprise which is what i kind of wanted because there's so many other events to plan and i'm just so excited so naturally i'm doing all the girly things today i'm prepping i'm working today but i just got home from the gym and i took a shower made my bed i've got my eye patches on and i'm ice rolling my face i'm gonna make some breakfast i actually am having a element hydration packet right now if you guys have never seen those before i'll show you what they look like but I'm having some for cell electrolytes um i actually just put it in this little shaker so drinking this right now to give me all the electrolytes right now and extra hydration because i want to be feeling really good tomorrow and right now i'm drinking the watermelon but this is the raspberry salt if they're a better for you or healthier liquid iv and there's not as much sugar i love these i put them in my bachelorette goodie bags for all my girls and they're great having some breakfast i made breakfast tacos still loving these i did the siete almond flour tortillas some eggs chicken sausage broccoli and peppers. I just made a little coffee and I used this almond milk from the brand Malk. It's the vanilla one. I've been really trying to be better about the milks I'm consuming and this one only has like four ingredients and it's super simple it just says filtered water organic almonds pure organic vanilla extract and then himalayan salt so very clean it doesn't have any gums or fillers i understand like you know your diet can't be perfect all the time but i feel like a lot of the milks have what are what like bother my stomach and recently crazy but i've actually been drinking dairy milk like who am i i'll drink this in my hold on Recently, I've been drinking this in my hot coffee. It's just the lactose-free organic valley milk, and I've been really liking it. It hasn't been bothering me. So I've been drinking this in hot coffee, and then I'll do the milk, almond milk in my cold coffee, like iced coffee. So that's just what I did here. So I have a call for work right now. I just got off of one. I have one more, and then I have a little bit to do today for work, but I'm hoping I can end a little bit early because I have so much to do for the bridal shower. Oh my gosh. Here's the dress reveal. I just finished steaming it. I might steam it once more tomorrow morning, but I think I showed you guys this once before when I got it tailored or hemmed. I bought it from Aster the label and it is so beautiful. I love it so much. It was super long on me, so I got it hemmed a little bit and it is like right above my ankles. You guys will see tomorrow, but you're able to see my shoes in them, which I really like, but I love it so much. It's gorgeous. It's got like ruffle sleeves and then, oh my gosh, hold on. Anyways, I was going to say the back looks like this and then it crosses and you can do a little bow, but all my hard work, I feel like this just fell on the floor and now I have to redo it. But anyways, this is the dress. You guys will see it on tomorrow. We're going to go run some errands. I've got a few last minute things I need to do. Some gifts that I'm giving. I need to finish those up. And then what else do I need to do? I have to run and grab a gift card. Yeah, just a few little last minute errands. All right, at our last stop of the day, my last errand, I went to Target and picked up two things. So I ended up doing gifts for everybody that threw the shower for me. So my mom, my mother-in-law, my sister and maid of honor, Alex, my two aunts, my two grandmas, and then my other sister, Liz. So. 
I wanted to get everybody just a little something. I already did their gift bags and I posted a TikTok, but in the gift bags, I ended up doing a little cutting board with their initial on them. And then I did Divolio Italian olive oil or vinegar. If you guys live in Buffalo, you know what Divolio is, but they have like really good olive oils and vinegar. So I did a bottle of those. But then for my mom, my mother-in-law, my sister Alex, my maid of honor, I wanted to give them something just a little extra because they put so much time and effort and energy into the planning of the shower. So I just wanted to get them a little something to go with it. So I got my mom and my mother-in-law pictures and I'm at Walgreens right now. I'm gonna print out photos of us and put them inside of these. I thought that would be really cute. So I got that for them. Actually, let me, okay, this is five by seven and this is four by six or six by eight. Okay, I need to keep that in mind when I'm purchasing the photos. I'm going in there right now to get them printed. And then I went to a liquor store and I got my sister my favorite wine. She also really likes this brand. It's called the Simple Grape. And it's a no sugar wine, low carb, gluten free, vegan, all natural. And her and I love wine together. So I got her the Pinot Grigio to go with the other item that I got her. And then lastly, hold on. I went to Salvatore's, which is a really nice restaurant here. And I got my cousin Kelly a gift card because she's doing my hair tomorrow. And she's doing all my bridal hair I guess for like all my events she's doing my wedding she's doing the bridal shower she's probably gonna do the rehearsal dinner and I just appreciate her so much so I wanted to give her a little gift card so yeah right now I'm in front of Walgreens we're gonna go in and see if I can hopefully get some photos printed for those picture frames whoa super overexposed just got home successful trip I'll give you guys a little haul I'll show you but I am getting a little protein ball because I'm hungry. I made these the other night. They're chocolate peanut butter protein balls and they're so, so, so good. I used the Trevani chocolate peanut butter and it's the protein. And I did oats, honey, vanilla. What else did I do? Peanut butter, sea salt and chocolate chips. Oh my God, amazing. I posted a TikTok as well. Here's how they turned out. I just put my mom's in. So this is when we went to Toronto. So cute, I love it. And then here's the one I did for my mother-in-law. So sweet, I love those. You guys, it's my bridal shower day. Flipping out, and I just can't believe it. I'm putting on some eye patches, and then I need to go and get my hair done. I'm also gonna stop and get a little coffee, but I just can't believe it's today. I feel like I have been thinking about this day for so long, and also, like when you were a kid, you would always think about the day you would get married, the day you would have your bridal shower, who you would marry, and I just like cannot believe it's here. I just, it's really wild. I'm having like an emotional moment, <laughs> but. I feel like I have bags under my eyes, so I need to put these on because I'm tired. Okay, snap out of it. Me not pulling up to the Starbucks drive through with my eye patches on. Guys, I need a coffee I'm so bad right now. I'm so tired. Good morning, and welcome to Starbucks. How are you today? Good morning, good. How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. What can I get started for you? Can I please do a iced coffee and can I do it in a venti cup with extra ice? I want a grande, but in a venti cup with extra ice, please. Yeah, no problem. And I'm sorry, what, did you say that was sweetened or unsweetened? Unsweetened. Okay. And can I please do um, a little bit of non-fat milk and one pump of sugar-free vanilla? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. Secured the coffee. <laughs> Grande cold brew, but I get it in a venti cup because I get extra ice. And then I got non-fat milk as well as one pump of sugar-free vanilla. That's my little order. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe it's my bridal shower day. I have been thinking about this day for so long. You know, when you're a kid and you think about, when you're a little girl and you think about like, oh my gosh, I wonder who I'm gonna marry. I wonder what dress I'm gonna wear on my wedding day. I wonder, where I'm gonna have my bridal shower and who's gonna be there and who's gonna be in my wedding and like how I'm gonna feel the day I wake up with my bridal shower and oh, I can't believe it's today. I'm getting emotional. I need to snap out of it. <laughs> okay. 
what's good today. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it's here. I'm so excited. And I can't wait to celebrate today. Oh my god. <laughs> Snap out of it. I'm going to get my hair done. My cousin Kelly is doing my hair. It's 6.54. I have to be there at 7.30. But I wanted to get myself a coffee. And then I also told her I would grab her a Tim Hortons. Because she prefers that. So I'm going to go there and grab her coffee. And then, oh, this is also what I'm giving her. This little card. I showed you guys yesterday. But it was the gift card. And then I wrapped it really cute. So she's going to do my hair. I'm still deciding what I want to do with my hair. I definitely want it curly. But I'm not sure if I want to do half up, half down. Or one side pulled up. So it's going to be a game time decision. And then I have my makeup girl, Marissa, coming to do my makeup at 9.30. So hoping my hair will be done at 8.30. I can go home. Well, actually, I'll probably be done at 9. I can go home, have a little bit to eat, and then do my makeup. But oh my gosh, happy bridal show day. All right, secured coffee number two for Kelly. Let's go and do my hair. It'll be a surprise to two guys what we decide to do because I still am not 100% sure, but definitely going to have her curl it. Makeup is done. I love how it turned out, and I just put my dress on. Oh my gosh, this is so surreal. I'm already running a little behind, so I need to go. But I'm just trying to like take a minute and soak this moment in right now because I know I'm never gonna have it back. I'm by myself right now. I'm just giving myself a little bit of time before I go and just making sure everything looks good. But I love how my makeup turned out, I love how my hair turned out. And oh my gosh, this is just insane. Here's a better photo from the front, the dress, and the shoes. Time to go to my bridal shower. Oh my god, I just pulled up. I am not well. My heart is being so fast. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh, here we go.
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. My bridal shower was literally everything and more that I've ever dreamed of. It was so special. I didn't vlog that much, obviously, because I was just trying to be in the moment, but I did share a ton of videos so you guys can see what it looked like. I've got a bunch of photos. I've been sharing a lot on Instagram and TikTok too. So follow me over there if you wanna see more like day-to-day -day real in the life content um, in real time is what I meant. But it was absolutely incredible. I felt so blessed and grateful and so lucky to be celebrating with so many people in my life that are so special to me. And it was such an incredible time and it's something I will literally remember forever. It was so special. We just had the best time ever. So we are 50 days out from the wedding as of today. Today is May 26th and I started this vlog in the beginning of May for the Toronto trip. So it's kind of been a long process, but I did want to also just open up that I have decided to take a little bit of time off from YouTube and... And the reason for that is because I really want to try to be super in the moment and really cherish the last few months before Matthew and I get married. We have so much going on right now in our lives between planning this wedding and getting all the final details signed, sealed, and delivered. After we get home from our honeymoon, we're going to be looking for a house. We are both working full time. It's just a lot going on this summer. It's always so busy because we have tons of like birthday parties and family parties and holidays and it is such a special time and I love it so much and I have just felt a little overwhelmed in the last few months, honestly, balancing wedding planning, working full time content between all three platforms that I'm on and I found myself a little bit feeling like I can't really be present in the moment all the time feeling like I have this pressure to continuously be working and be, con be creating content and be uploading and be editing. And while I love it so much, there are other things in my life right now that do need to take priority. And I also just want to really be in the moment and like soak this time in because if I've learned anything from my last few bridal events, being my bachelorette, my bridal shower, is they go by literally in a blink of an eye. And I just want to be able to look back and think back of this time and really soak in all the moments be super present really enjoy the last 50 days of Matthew and I just being engaged and enjoy our summer too and not feel like I always have to be on and always have to be working and I love YouTube and I don't say that negatively because I choose to do this I choose to share my life with you guys because I really love it but with everything on my plate right now it's just feeling like I'm stretched a little bit thin and I want to be able to be in the moment and not feel so much pressure all the time. So I love YouTube. I love content. I will definitely be back at some point. I don't know how much time I'm going to be taking off and I might, if I feel like vlogging in the next few weeks, pick up my camera and start uploading. I'm just trying not to put so much pressure on myself because I feel like there's so many other things in my life that have to take priority at this moment. And I am uploading a ton on Instagram and, and TikTok. Instagram stories are very easy and quick for me because I can just snap a video or snap a story in the moment and just post it. And TikToks are also a little bit easier for me. I love YouTube, but it takes the most amount of my time. So I'm still creating tons of content. It's just like not on this platform at the moment. So make sure to go follow me over there because I'm sharing tons and tons and tons of wedding stuff over there. Like I feel like I've been on my TikTok game with wedding stuff. So I just wanted to give a little explanation because I know I've been MA on YouTube and I also wanted to share as to why I've taken time off and how I'm really trying to listen to my body and be super present and in the moment. And I miss you guys. I've gotten some messages from people saying that they miss seeing my videos and that means a lot to me. And I'm happy that my videos have made a difference and you guys look forward to. So I hope to get back to it soon. This is not bye forever. This is just bye for, for a little bit as I'm trying to balance all the things in my life right now. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for bearing with me and just being understanding. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.